I've just admitted to myself and accepted that I'm actually a transgender woman um, and that I need to change my body. So commonly what most people would call as a sex change. Um, sorry if that's a real shock to you. Um, it's a shock to me as well. Um, but here's a bit of background. I was born 48 years ago with male genitalia. Um, and, um, you know, I, that was, I had a very good childhood, no problem at all. But um, by the, my earliest memories, probably about the age of about three or four, um, I, I started to cross dress and uh, I, you know, I envied the girls. I wanted to be one of the girls. I just, you know, I, um, I've always had much more girlfriends than I have um, male friends. Um, and um, that sort of carried on throughout my life, really. And, and I struggled with the cross-dressing, actually. Um, up until my mid-twenties, there was a lot of self-loathing and self-denial, lots of purging, uh, lots of that kind of stuff. It, it was dreadful. Um, but then by the time I got to my um, mid-twenties, um, that's when I actually accepted it for what it was and embraced it. And I just viewed it as more of as a hobby, but a hobby that I knew that I would always need to do. But I quantified it and it was I was happy as a man who needed to cross dress. I knew that that was what's going to happen. That was fine, sorted, no problem at all. Um, so it's actually come as quite a shock to me that really in, in October of last year, around about that sort of time, my feelings of gender dysphoria have increased dramatically. I've since heard that it's quite common, um, and a lot of, that happens to a lot of cross-dressers, that that does happen, especially in the late 40s, so I'm sort of fairly typical from that point of view. But it still came as a, a bit of a shock to me. Um, so the, these feelings just increased so much um, that um, around, you know, at the end of last year, I just didn't know what gender I was at all, and I've just been in complete turmoil about it. Um, so much so that I went to see um, a therapist about it, um, a counsellor who had got a lot of experience with gender issues. Um, and I had four sessions with her, um, just went straight in there. I'd, she said that a lot, of, a lot of her clients, they'll talk about the weather and all sorts of stuff. But I was just like straight in there. I was just ready to burst. I was just, I was just spilt. Um, Anyway, by, by those four, at the end of the four sessions, that was a natural break just before Christmas. Um, but I felt I got as far as I could with her. And at that point, I felt that I was gender fluid. Um, however, I now, looking back on it, realised that that was a mistake because it, it was, um, there was nothing fluid about it. But also, I think it was all my fears of the effect it would have on my marriage and family and everything and my business, um, just holding me back and just stopping me from being who I really am. Um, so the next thing I did, I got um, a book, um, it was a self-help book, it was basically a workbook um, by a, um, a gender therapist um, in the States, and it's basically psychotherapy in a book, so you just work all the way through it. And by about, by about three quarters of the way through the book, I realised that I wasn't actually gender fluid, um, I was transgender, I was a transgender woman. Um, and by the time I got to the end of the book, that hadn't changed, that was exactly the same. But I didn't want to leave it at that. Um, you know, I wanted to explore it a bit more. So I actually got in touch with a clairvoyant that I'd actually seen um, back in May, just, just out, out of curiosity. It was somebody that I'd met at a, a business um, networking uh, group of, of all things. Um, and um, I just sort of got along for reading with her just out of curiosity, really. And it's funny that the reading that she gave me, a lot of it didn't make sense at the time, but now looking back, it all makes perfect sense it really does it all fits into place but I, I just sent her a text just to say um, you know that uh, I was having these feelings of, uh, of gender dysphoria and, and, and um, um, you know she suggested that I sort of go along and have a, a healing a spiritual healing session with her um, so that's what I did it was a four-hour session and basically all the answers came from me. They didn't come from her. She was just basically asking me questions. I mean, I, I assume she was getting the questions from spirit or however, however she does it. But she just basically, we did some, um, some sort of relaxation techniques and some meditation and stuff just to, just to get me into a state where I could be 100% honest with myself. And it was in that session that I was 100% honest with myself. And, uh, and I, that was there, it was then when I admitted to myself that I'm actually a transgender woman and that I do need to change my body.
um, it was a very emotional session, as I say, and um, um, I felt really wrung out by the end of it. Um, because then you, you sort of you get to that that sort of realization, and then it's okay. Well, now what? Um, obviously, there's big implications for my family and for my business and everything. Um, so what I decided to do is instead of just sort of hiding away for five years while I transition and then come back as as, as female, um, my transition is going to be very public, very bold and very out there. So I'm really excited about what's to come and my new life as the woman that I've always been, but I've never been allowed to show. So there's lots going to be happening. There's lots of good stuff that's going to be happening. And I hope that you can be happy with me.